Hey guys, Seth with Flex Innovations. Just wanted to give you a quick tip on setting up the expert profile in the RV8 without a PC or without a computer. Uh, you can also do this through a computer if you want, if you have a PC and would like to do it that way. Uh, but this video, we're going to talk specifically on doing it without the PC and the Aura Config tool. Uh, this also applies to a lot of our other aircraft. Um, so the flight modes may be a little bit different, specific to those airplanes, but uh, this process would be basically identical to those air or to this airplane. Uh, so basically, you want to go ahead and start by removing the prop and spinner from the airplane. Uh, just for safety reasons, we don't want anyone getting hurt. Uh, it's always a good idea to remove that when you're working on the airplane when the throttle may be live. Uh, also, you want to go ahead and make sure your transmitter is set up according to our transmitter configuration guide in the manual. Uh, so make sure it's set up and also make sure that it's bound to the airplane and you get all your flight modes working appropriately and all the controls and everything working appropriately. Uh, once you have that all set up, we'll go ahead and get into the uh, actual specifics of each flight mode and how to change it over to the expert profile. Okay, so just to kind of highlight and show you guys what the sport aura profile is here. Um, basically, in flight mode one, you'll get gyro off and low rates, uh, which is normal aileron function, normal elevator function with a low rate, and normal rudder function. You also get normal flap function as well in this flight mode. And then the gyro is actually off, so you get no assistance from the aura in this flight mode. In flight mode two, or the middle position, you get the same exact low rates, but the gyro is actually on, the aura is actually assisting you. Uh, from here, uh, in high rates, you get full span ailerons, or what we call live wing, where the flaps are mixed with the ailerons. And then you also get your high rate elevator and your normal rudder function. Basically, uh, if you want to change this, essentially you're going to replace that gyro off or that uh, low rate flight mode one position for crow with the, uh, with the RV-8, uh, which basically means the ailerons are going to go up and the flaps are going to go down. Okay, so with the airplane off and the transmitter on, we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to use a bind plug, but we want to remove the servo lead that's plugged into Aura port S2. Uh, this happens to be the left aileron lead, so we're just going to remove that and set that aside. And we're going to put the bind plug in port S2. All right, so there's the bind plug in port S2. So again, with the radio on and the bind plug in S2, we're going to go ahead and power on the airplane. And basically what you're going to see is either a flashing or a solid green light on the Aura. So you see right here we have a flashing green light. And basically what we want to do is change the flight mode switch, or channel 5 in this case, uh, to where that is flashing. Uh, if for some reason that your light shows up solid, uh, just move your, your switch to the other position and you'll see the light will change color. So we want to make sure that, the, uh, that it's set to flashing. Uh, once you have it set to flashing, you can go ahead and remove the bind plug and the lights will come on solid showing that it saved the settings. Uh, from here, we'll just remove power from the airplane and then go ahead and plug in our aileron lead back into servo port S2. Once you have that done, we can go ahead and check and make sure all the program worked appropriately. So plug in the battery here. So you can see we have in this uh, position here, this is our high rate, our full span ailerons, live wing, just like we had before. In our middle position here, we have the normal aileron function and normal elevator function with low rates. This flight mode is exactly the same as the previous. And then in our last flight mode here, we get the crow with the uh, ailerons up and the flaps down. Uh, the one really cool thing that's, that's done with the Aura is you also get the automatic elevator mixing uh, to help compensate for the pitching tendencies of the crow. And also here, when you move the throttle, you'll actually see the crow will close. So that way you don't have to worry about flipping a switch when you're trying to get out of a bad situation. You can just advance the throttle and the, and the crow will close. Uh, so once you verify that all that's functioning properly, it's always a good idea to go ahead and power cycle the transmitter and the airplane. And once you have that done, go up and enjoy the flight.